it, you know, it's time that, you know, you and I discussed us. Well, yeah, <clears throat> you guys have been on quite the journey with these dating shows. <laughs> right. Huh? We want to come to you and speak about our relationship okay. and just talk us through. What's the issue? We'll bring it up. Is hey. it your narcissism? That's not the reason I broke up with you. <laughs> it's your narcissism. I can't deal with it. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, she attacks it, me all it, the time I it, and I, I don't it. know what to do. Are you uh, going to cry? Sometimes when you love someone, you have emotions. Can you guys hear What's yourself? up, guys? Welcome to episode, <laughs> wait, 174 of Dropouts. Turn your headphones on before how? I fight you with both hands. Wait, how? Oh, there's a there's little button you hear on anything? the bottom. No, no puedo oír nada. Oh my gosh, I love Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. No, 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 no oh, worries. Great. That's just yeah. part just of our story. Just, just breaking things. Although as good podcast yeah, hosts, we, we probably should have had those on yeah. for her to so begin with. Or, we, really is it. or women can do anything. Can you hear? Now I can. So we don't wow. have to hold their Look hand through life. That makes sense why all of you were already speaking into I'm not good things. with these things. Can I forget the, the mic is here? So I start talking. Sometimes. Well, she really is not good. The at good point things. of that is whenever you do, I'll go, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> and I will not be nice about it. Okay. I'll put you down emotionally and I'm going to bring up stuff that's nasty. And then you're going to get mad. You're going to leave. And I'll cry. No, you don't cry. You're a strong woman. I can tell. <gasps> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> well, we're you just this. made her whole year. With <laughs> yeah, that. I, know. I, was like, wow. I love strong, independent women. Oh, we're here with Franny and, uh, it's only been like 20 <laughs> blind dating videos. So. I had my eyes closed. I was blind. It's true. So I didn't know it was you. I was right. behind a curtain. Yeah. Um, it's like Neza with Z's for yes, whatever reason. Yes, Z's, yes. Even though your real name is Vanessa. It is Vanessa. Without Z's. Without Z's. And that makes me really mad. Can we get some <laughs> intro music? <laughs> Sorry, I need to take a break. This is where your cute little intro visuals happen. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. Okay, before we start this podcast, remember we have a Patreon where we're giving away an Xbox, uh, 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 AirPods. What else, dude? Uh, uh, gift, gift cards. Gift card. Merch. A, merch. We're doing a bunch of stuff, but you have to sign up today in the Patreon. It's very cheap. It's only like a million dollars. Oh wait, it's five, you idiots. <laughs> Also, one other thing is we do drunk episodes on there where we get plastered and this month we are getting drunk and carving pumpkins. Uh, here's a drunk clip. Okay, now that you know about Patreon and you're not signed up, do it. Nice. That's, Nailed ca it. that's called a call to action, baby. That's a great that call was to great. action. Let's get back to it. Speak when spoken to. Let's get back to it. <laughs> And go. <laughs> hi. Well, hi. Welcome hi, to well, Dropouts <laughs> okay. podcast. It, what did you bring us to talk about today? Um, About you. Oh, my gosh. Yes. It's, it's, That's it's his time. favorite subject. It's <laughs> <laughs> um, it, you know, it's time that, you know, you and I discussed us. Yeah, I, I agree. I think, um, you know, when I saw you completely threadless, uh, it was eye opening for me. <laughs> <laughs> because I expected everything to be in the places I saw in diagrams at school. And a lot of, a lot of them were sideways. One of them, usually they're flipped like this. Yours was flipped like this. And I got a little confused when I was down there. But that's not the reason I broke up with you. The reason I broke up with you is because uh, there's more women who are probably better. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> what? Stop it. Franny did not Franny know what now. she was signing Hi, up Franny. for doing this. By the way, yeah. I was like, hey, by the way, like, do you want to do this? podcast with Zach and she's like, yeah. And then I didn't really tell her anything else. Good. That's always a good plan. Okay. Neza did tell me that um, you have the barometer of a mother. The barometer did I? of a mother. What does that mean? Just, yeah, I'm like, I was I was a little confused. You, 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 you like to stay in the pocket of sweet conversation. <laughs> yeah. You don't want us to go but, crass. Uh, yeah. I can be a little vulgar sometimes. You want to be vulgar? Let's do no, it. No, 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 I don't want to. That reminds me. <laughs> I, I think it's- You cuss a little? <laughs> That's exactly, damn it. You always I, steal my jokes. It's okay, man. I'm just one step ahead, right? Oh God, no, you just speak louder. And Rudolph, what happened? Oh, fuck off. Okay, you know oh I have eczema. Oh, you never eczema. said you had eczema. Nice. <laughs> you never said you had eczema. I do. I'm sorry. If I would have known okay. you had a terminal condition, I would not have brought it up. Sorry, we have to get his moisturizer. <laughs> um, okay, so you two are women. Yes. Yes. How is that? It's great. Good. We can give birth. Oh, how many times have you done it so far? About four. Nice. Wow. Yeah. And what are their names? Uh, Rebecca. Smash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jasmine. And these are your both collective? Yes, we have them together. <laughs> yeah. Oh, through the bone marrow process. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a new way where women can just have children themselves through 
Like, isn't that correct? You brought I, me on to this. Well, no, I've heard of it. I don't know if it's like scientifically proven or if it was just like a theory that they're working on, like a little experiment, but I've heard of it because it made like big news because women were like, really fuck men now. Like, well, we don't isn't, need you isn't guys. there a statistic that like by year 30, 40, by whatever, year 30, 40, by <laughs> the year the four, year whatever, 3, the year 3000, um, males will be like extinct. What? what? Yeah, you have never. You've never. That's where'd you, news where'd to you me. hear that? I don't know. I, I don't know. Deep into the TikTok realm of things, no, I don't know. But TikTok. there's like, a, I'm pretty sure there's like something where like, uh, I think eventually my, men are gonna be. I think my done so. Dad got diagnosed with that early, but I'm not sure. What? Oh, he does. He's not around much. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't know your guys' <laughs> stance on this, but Jared has lesbian parents. We like to feel the room. So do if you, you? want to leave now, I do. Well, Julie that. and April. I'm into out. it. Love that. Julie and Good. April. Such great names I love as that. a duo. Thank you. You don't have to say that just because they're lesbian. Um, and it's not even June. You don't have to be that nice. But they are great, great women. Oh, thank you, Zach. That was so genuine. I, lo- I They're two of my favorite people. Well, normally you make a joke about how you want to like get in bed with one of yes, them. Yes, but we have so. Franny on and she's, you know how wholesome she is. So okay. we got to be wholesome you're with right, Franny. Right. right. So Franny, what is your favorite color? <laughs> <laughs> um... I actually don't know. Nice. And then I don't have one. <laughs> Neza, when is the last time you've been raw dog? <laughs> <laughs> See, we're going gentle here, and then we're absolutely crossing the line when we get over to you. Oh, last man. night. How was that? It was great. Yeah. It honestly was just like, you know what just works out. <laughs> yeah, it does. Mm. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is true. It's I was being tr- honest. It's the truth. Oh, Freddie knows. I are, know are you every, on birth I control? I know everything. I am not. So, Oof. okay. Uh, <laughs> so she can have a baby anytime. I will not be having babies. Franny's going to have five for You're sure. Five? You want five? She wants five kids. I want, no, I want four. I want to have three of my own and adopt one. Yes. Wow. That's a lot. Which one? <laughs> are you going to adopt? Like when in the line are you going to adopt one? I don't know. And I think th- at the end, maybe. Are you thinking like a different ethnicity just because they're, it's going to be strange if they're like, why was I the, <laughs> or you have to tell them, it's like, oh yeah, we all look the same, but you're not mine. I don't know. I was honestly, well, so I'm Colombian and I would oh. love to adopt a child from Colombia. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what is that based for? What does that mean? Yeah, he got a little. You said they were white. <laughs> I said do, that? do I look she white? Look like? I mean, maybe we dipped you in a little bit of caramel for Halloween <laughs> season, but I don't know what's going on over there with your skin tone. Uh, oh, interesting. Gotcha. I thought it was just the jumpsuit bringing out the, the, the tan. tan. The tan. Yeah. No, do you ever, we're not white. That's fine. Okay. I love people that aren't white. Okay. I can name six. Okay. Beyonce. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, he's naming um, them more. Jay-Z. Nice. Blue Ivy. Neza. Nice. Um, <laughs> Is that five? The no. other Destiny's Childers. <laughs> nice. Uh, so. You got it. Wow. I got it. You got it. Are the only people of color that you know part of uh, the Beyonce Jay-Z like ecosystem? I saw a documentary. <laughs> <laughs> recently. Yeah, it was. No, it wasn't recently. That's how you know I'm not racist. It stuck with me. <laughs> and I love that. Um, so women. Women. How long? Oh, wait. Back to you. <laughs> how long what? So sorry. Uh, favorite color? You just stew, stew on that for a second. I got to uh, talk to... Neza, yes. Um, What's up? You don't want to have a child right now. Do you have like one of those mini crossbows in you? What well, do you that's mean? Birth control. Oh, okay. an IUD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what did you call it? Like a mini crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen them? Yeah. yeah. Someone yeah. actually just told me this story recently that he had an experience, and he never told the girl. He had an experience where he was, you know, having sex with this girl, and he knew she had an IUD. And I guess it wasn't properly placed oh, no. and he cut and he didn't no. know. Okay. So he didn't know until he pulled out. He was like, was he, he thought, emo? He, no, oh, he thought, for no reason. he thought that she got her period and she was the one that was like, Oh my God, I'm so sorry. And he's like, Oh no, don't worry about it. Like it happens all the time. It wasn't until he got home that he realized he had the biggest gash. <laughs> oh wow. And, <laughs> oh, but like, and he never he told her. It? They went gash to gash. He didn't feel that? I don't know. Not until like later the adrenaline uh, was gone and, and he adrenaline. never told her. And I was like, you could have saved Poor other guy. men from having that experience. Oh my gosh. So I'm terrified there. to have to have an IUD now because of that. But not a child based on your well, actions. You can, you can get the ones that look like little mini hula hoops. You know, those also. Yeah, the exist. ring. Yeah. Yeah, the ring. And so. Oh, the one wh- to rule them all. 
<laughs> I just got into Lord of the Rings. Did I haven't you? finished them. I've only watched two. Well, it's going to take you the rest of the year. Great. They're Love very that. long. Love that. Oh, okay. Very short on that one. Wasn't she? <laughs> Franny, back to you. Uh-huh. Okay. Favorite animal. <laughs> <laughs> I actually yeah. have a very insane birth control <gasps> she story. She does. Great oh. leeway. Okay. Here we go. Let's You're more, hear this. Okay. This is not really your lane, but we'll let her do it. <laughs> Let her, let her explore a okay, little let bit. Me, okay, bit. yeah, let me be like a little like, Okay, you know, a little like, dicey. Yeah, yeah, I'm here yeah. for it. A little it. dicey. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to try to be as quick as possible. But no, please don't. This is a well, podcast. No, take <laughs> as long as you need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sounds good. Um, so when I was in high school. Smash. When I was. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How old are you? When, me? Oh, no. In, oh, just continue. <laughs> <laughs> I would so, be in high school too in this scenario. Okay, you creep. got it. You should probably preface that next time. And yeah. I will, out loud. <laughs> Over to you. So when I was in high school, I was about 17. Um, <laughs> I, was having, <laughs> I was having uh, period issues, right? It's We've just, all been there. It's yep. irregular. It it's not really, you know, it's not yeah. on time. doing its thing. Anyway, so I go to the doctor, gives me birth control to try and regulate it, whatever. I take the birth control the first night and some of the side effects are dizziness, nausea, vomiting. Take the birth control, wake up at five in the morning with this urge to just projectile vomit. And I get up, I run to the bathroom. And as I'm running into the bathroom, I completely pass out. I fall face first onto my counter, gash my uh, forehead open, like in between my eyebrows. I fall to the floor, black out, and I'm just like bleeding everywhere. Out of both holes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I wake up and I drag myself to the toilet because I still felt like I was going to throw up. I dry heave into the toilet. Nothing comes out. And all of a sudden I see blood gushing down into the toilet. Then I pass out again <laughs> from all the blood coming out of my head. And then I, when I wake up, I drag myself back to the door and I start screaming for my mom. My mom comes in. She passes out from seeing all the blood. <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> she what happened to hashtag out. women for women? <laughs> <laughs> she was so scared. She passed out too. And then when she woke up, she started screaming ah, for my divorced. dad. Oh, never mind. No, 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 no. Cool. Screaming for my dad. My dad comes upstairs and then my dad was just like, what happened? Yeah, I was praying that your dad also had <laughs> yeah, that me too. Like way to go champ. <laughs> yeah, no. And then I went to the hospital and I got eight stitches and- On your head? You can't even tell. In between my eyebrows. That would have sucked oh if it would have stayed. Oh my God. Yeah. That See, was uh, probably one of the crazier things to happen to me when so, I was younger. I don't. You also had another crazy thing happen to you. I've never. What ha happened? Franny has great stories. <laughs> um, what, if, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? Didn't you go like on a trip somewhere and then you like fell off a horse and then got oh, found by like? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. These Ooh. village people and then in they Costa got took Rica. her in and then they like she was there for a while until like the camp found her. Is that this whole story? <laughs> <laughs> No, basically, yeah, I was on a, a horseback riding trip in the rainforest of Costa Rica with one of my childhood best friends. And I as was, we all do. Yeah, as, as and we I, all. Was, I was so young. I think I was like 12 or something. Anyways, one of the people that we were with, her horse went crazy, took off. She fell off the horse. She gashed her head open. Gosh. I decided to trot over thing. with my horse. Saw the blood. I passed out on my horse. <laughs> No, one, not a blood girl. <laughs> not. No one uh, noticed that I was passed out on the horse, so everyone kind of trotted away. And uh, then these did they people, think you were just like really emotionally hugging the horse? What did they I don't even think they. Re I don't even know. But gotcha. basically, the the people who lived in up in the mountains, it was like a village. They these women found me and they just took me off the horse, brought me inside their house, and they fed me or made me drink water with sugar to like bring me back. And then they finally found me like an hour later. Oh, I would have a hundred percent thought. I was like, this is my life now. Yeah. I live in this village. Like no one's going to find me. Did it you, was insane. Did you wake up thinking who are these humans? Um, I was kind of in and out. So when they ah, took me off uh, the double, horse. Double, double. Yeah, yeah. So I, I was, you know, I felt them carrying me off and I just couldn't nice. move though. So I just kind of accepted my fate at that point. <laughs> Crazy. So you're just like the village people have me. Yeah. <laughs> I hope they don't touch me inappropriately. Oh, water and sugar. <laughs> I would have been so thrilled once I got the water and sugar. Cause I was like, oh, they're probably gonna. And then I was like, no, they didn't. They didn't touch you. You Jared, whoa, <laughs> what? we're not getting into the specifics. We have Franny on this podcast. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, okay. So 
And as over here said, you have several great stories. That's only two. Let's, oh, uh, give me another one or none yeah. of us are going to talk until you do. Yeah, I, don't even, I don't even know. Okay. No, oh, wait, I, I do have one, but you're not going to talk about it. Oh, shit. Oh, good. Sick. <laughs> Sorry. She's so like, sorry. No, no, no. Right. Yeah, that's a great. Do you so want to bring sorry. Up anything else we can't talk about? <laughs> Let's just get it all out of the bring way right now. Bring something up that we can't talk about. Sweet. Um, What's your boyfriend's but name? But you know what? I'm, you know what? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about though, because we're like this. I don't know. Yeah, Wait, do. how old was I? Um, Coachella. How, oh, oh, not Coachella. <laughs> okay. Sorry. She loves riddles. Um, Mar Mario Kart. Rainbow oh, Road. Oh yeah. No 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 <laughs> no 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 no. no. Yes, yeah, just weird shit happens to it's me. It's crazy. It's all good though. I'm here. I'm enticed I'm by the Mario Kart. Um, <laughs> when you say you can't speak about it, legal reasons? Um, um just, it's just, it's just a lot. It's, just, it's a lot. It's a lot. What's the percent chance I can get it out of you? <laughs> no, zero. zero. Okay. If point. there's anything below zero, <laughs> that. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> I didn't think, all right. I mean, I'm down if you're down. Okay, um, back to you ladies. <laughs> uh, Neza. Yes. Um, so this wonderful woman to your left, you guys met how long ago? Five years now? 2017? 2016? 2017. 2017 we met. And yeah. you consider yourselves best friends? Yes. Yeah. Why do you guys think you connected so well? Um, we were thrown into a house together. Okay, speak about it. What house? <laughs> <laughs> Freddie and I met, well, we met before that briefly, maybe a yeah. couple times. And then we were in a content house essentially together, run under Univision. Univision. Yeah. Come off. Wait, how'd you know? Uh, I, a, lot, a lot of time when I ask questions, I already know the answer. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I just okay. pretend like I'm interested. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's all fake. Manipulative is what I prefer. Got it. Okay. No, not fake. Um, go ahead. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was told I can only speak when I'm spoken to. Um, That's so great that she like abides by it too. <laughs> Most women don't. Now it's like, oh, free speech. I want to oh vote. Oh my God. Not Any you. Anyways, You're a fifties gal. Anyways, we were in this house together. We were putting out what? Three videos a week. Yeah. On YouTube and just, it was just us and David in that house for like six months. So we got pretty close. Okay. Where are you both from? Bay from, Area. From New Jersey. You don't pump your own gas. No. Hey, fun fact. <laughs> yeah. You don't do it. <laughs> well, you have no here idea. I do. You have no idea what to do at a gas Well, pump. when I tell you when I moved here, I was so confused. You're a little scared? <laughs> yeah. Do you need, still need help? No. Okay. I got it. I'm a pro. Anything else you're confused about? No. Wow. <laughs> Nothing? There's not no. a single thing? No. That's a woman. That's And that's a woman. We know that's everything. A great woman. That is we know true. Everything. It's true though. We do know everything. And if we don't, we figure it out. I can find out anything about anyone. You'd give me just like a name and give me like 20 minutes on Instagram and everything. What? Huh? What'd you say? <laughs> What'd you say? Idiot. Yeah. What did you say? <laughs> no. Okay. What, what did you say? I, I heard it. Okay. We need to talk about... Um, so you guys both, what did you start out doing before you got into social media? And then how did you get into whatever the hell you guys are doing now? I worked at PacSun for six years. Jared um, used to pack people's sons. Um, over <laughs> to you. Awful. Why is that awful? You have gay parents. No, I- God, you're a bigot. All right, over to you guys. Oh my God. What did you do? I did so many things. I was a student, waitress, freelance makeup artist. Where did you and wait? Babysitter. All uh, in one. Toast Bakery Cafe in okay. West Hollywood. And what was the worst thing to make? I didn't make the food. <laughs> <laughs> True, because that's a waitress. Yeah. If you guys aren't listening. Um, <laughs> what was the worst part about being a waitress? When I would fuck up. Okay, I thought you were going to not say up. <laughs> <laughs> there was like just a, like just a pause fuck. enough where I had alarm. I was like, oh, the customers. And then you said up. Okay, what were some things that you would mess up? I, I used to be a waiter. So this was oh, very- okay. this I can't very relate. Really of course you can because you're privileged. Um, but I used to be a waiter and um, I think we can bounce back and forth with okay. some of the hardships of the job. You know, putting putting stuff in wrong. Gotcha. Forgetting about shit. Gotcha. You know. I do know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, did you want to talk about folding? I worked at Cold Stone. Does that count? <laughs> That's right up oh, your alley. Oh, tell them your Cold Stone story. Oh no. My first day of work yeah. story. I, it's kind of tragic. I don't know. It doesn't affect me now all that much because I've gone back to this cold stone and it doesn't affect me. Anyways, so we have to make the waffles. The waffle cones we make. Oh, wow. That's and like insider info. Yeah, insider wow. info. The whole thing. Burnt my hand so many times making these cones. And on the first day, for some reason, that was my job all day. 
was making these waffle cones. And so you're just in this little area with all these fumes of the waffle cones coming. And for some reason, I, I don't know if it was nerves. I don't know what it was, but it just hit me like a truck. I was like, I'm going to projectile vomit <laughs> right here, right now. And mind you, the waffle station is outside. It's not like I'm in the back. Like I'm where everyone is serving ice cream. And so within like a second, I was like, crap, do I run to the back or whatever? And so I just turn, grab the nearest trash can and just start hurling. <laughs> While there are like people in the front store. Of, in <laughs> front of everyone. Ordering ice cream and the person serving the ice cream is throwing up right in front of My you. My coworkers are behind me, like obviously like, you know, chopping away at the, at the ice cream. And I'm just projectile vomiting. And my manager runs out because there's cameras that she's watching at all times. She runs out. She's like, are you okay? And I was just like, I'm so sorry. Because I was <laughs> so embarrassed, you guys. I was so embarrassed. I was like 15 and I was just like crying. I was like, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. She's like, just go home. Just go home. I was like, okay. And it never happened again. I made waffles for years. But it like, I don't know why that one time. Oh, just... A little rocky road made by you. Anyways, yeah. I threw That's, up on my first day of work. Um, yeah. That is gross. Okay. <laughs> And that's okay. I'm shocked they still kept me after that. What was some of the weirdest orders you would have people? Because I know people walk in there like, yeah, give me ice cream, but breathe in it. <laughs> but you know, like they get some weird topics. Mm, no, but I had, I was working there in high school. So all my friends would, so back then Cold Stone doesn't do it anymore. I feel like they got sued by somebody. I should look it up. Oh, you would throw it? No, oh, if you get tipped, you have to sing. Oh, what's the song? They don't do it anymore. There's so oh, many God, songs that you learned and that. they are engraved in my brain for life. But and a three and a two and a one, um, two. Hey. We'll, we'll be mixing on the Cold Stone when you tip and then you guys go, when you tip. We'll okay. be mixing okay. on the Cold Stone when you tip. When, when you tip. tip. We'll be mixing and a dipping and a mixing and a dipping. We'll be mixing and a dipping when we tip. tip. That's one of like wow. so many. I would sit there with $45 <laughs> no, so, and ruin your so day. So you, exactly. <laughs> my, my high school friends would come after school and just do that. A dollar, a dollar. And I would just be singing there <laughs> in the in the food court singing. With slowly just like you're shaking a gun behind the counter, just like waiting. <laughs> yeah. to just Wait, end do it you all. have to do it in a mic? No. Oh, okay. No, no, no. That's but there was one, not too bad. there was one that everyone had to participate and it was always, I never did it because I didn't want my coworkers to hate me, but it was called the banana song. And there was a dance that went with it. And you had to drop everything you were doing and do the dance. If I would not, be you got in trouble. so annoyed if I was the other customers <laughs> in the store. Like, dude, 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 I just, just want, I just my, want ice my ice cream. cream. <laughs> I work so hard this week and this is my cheat day. I want a sweet treat. And now I got this girl keep singing this banana song <laughs> that goes like this. Yeah. Oh, I don't remember the banana one. Oh, but they're ingraining you forever. I, have, I have the song book at my house. Can I tell you something kind of personal? What? I love Cold Stone. So do I. Can I tell you my order? Yes. Feel free to judge. Okay. Chocolate ice cream. Base. Yes. How do you feel so far? Like it or I love it. Mm, gotta have it. Oh, wow. Okay. Actually, no, I usually go love it. Okay. But I get it in a got it, gotta have it um, bowl so it doesn't spill, spill over. Smart. Very smart. Thank you. Uh, and then I do, I do M&Ms with cookie dough with extra M&Ms and then they mix it all, obviously. Yeah. What? Uh, how do you feel about that? Well, I hate cookie dough. Oh my gosh. But what? I know, I you know, I already knew what everyone's reaction was going to be saying that. I am, yeah, my you whole know, life I'm I've not, gotten that. I'm not a big fan of it either. Yeah, but you, you would you like at least, I can't even like look at it. Oh, oh. you're like my grandpa, but with minorities. Yeah, um, <clears throat> What about you? What is your order? Just mint chip. God, huh? <laughs> That's it? No, no toppings inside or yeah. anything? Let's go back to your favorite color. You can sit there for a second. <laughs> I used to make crazy. I'll do, I'll do like the mint ice cream with like Oreo. What she goes like, no, it's like mint ice cream, but there's chips in it. <laughs> and we're like, we got it. We picked up on no, it. Sometimes I'll do the Oreo if I'm feeling crazy. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. And a rainbow sprinkle. Wait, oh it's like my that, God. It's like yeah. that TikTok of the girls like, I'm, I might be crazy, <laughs> but like, I just like more garlic my pesto. And everyone's like, it does the stitch. It's like, oh my God, you're crazy. <laughs> you are pretty wild. Um, so sometimes you do the sprinkles. Sometimes, God, Franny, all, all the time. Franny loves sprinkles. Every time we're at a carnival or something, I just know when she's, oh, I'm gonna go get ice cream. She'll come back with a cone <laughs> covered in sprinkles every single time. Well, soft serve, you have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, there's no choice. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a choice. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's always a choice. Sprinkles is such mom energy though. <laughs> that is screaming. She wants to be a mother of four she and one be being adopted. So soon, so. So soon. And then um, you currently have someone, are you guys, Attempting? No. Oh, so soon. 
So you lied. No, oh. no, I'm not saying she's trying. I'm saying if it happened, but she'd be over the moon about it. <laughs> no, practicing. <look. laughs> Idiot. I cannot wait for the day that I'm a mother. Yeah. Uh, and what are you going to do with them? But I'm not <laughs> rushing it. Okay. Yeah. I want it to be when it's the right time. Why do you think you want to be a mother so dearly? I don't know. I've always, I've always had this motherly nurturing thing about me. And yeah. I, I don't know. I just feel like my life purpose is to be a mom. Do you feel like you're almost the mom of your friend group? Like you, you're there to, you're a good nurturer to when people yeah, have issues? Definitely, yeah. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So Nessa comes up to you and obviously she's had a recent breakup because she can't keep a man. How are you going to talk her? First of all. Damn. How are you? <laughs> yeah, that was that First was, of all. That was tough. No, that but, was a shot that did not need to be no. fired. But I don't lie. No. What, um, <laughs> how would you, how would you help her out? With finding someone? Okay. Say Nez and I are here and we're been in a absolutely not four year relationship. <laughs> um, and we so wanna come bad. we wanna come to you and speak about our relationship okay. and just talk us through. What's the issue? We'll bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> that that right there, that's the issue. <laughs> yeah, that's the His issue. hot fucking temper. Yeah, that's the issue. <laughs> hey. Is it your narcissism? Is that why we're we're <laughs> entering Franny couples therapy? It's your narcissism. I can't deal with it. You see what I mean? Yeah, she yeah, attacks it, me all it, the time I it, and I, I don't know what to do. The thing is, she comes home from work. Of, Are you going to cry? <laughs> sometimes when you love someone, you have emotions. You've got to understand that. Well, yeah, <clears> you guys <throat> have been on quite the journey with these dating shows. <laughs> right. Huh? I know. Yeah, we've been on. 80 have you ever been chosen? No, 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 oh, no. Oh, no, okay, no. okay. And I find it. Rude. Distasteful. Rude, yeah. On your part. Oh, interesting. How many dating shows have we been on together? Um, maybe eight. Yeah, maybe eight. And why have you not chosen me once? Mm. I don't know. Let's run a clip of your answers. <laughs> yeah, roll a <the> clip. <laughs> oh, maybe it's like, oh, this guy has a creative mind and loves banter. Obviously, off the set, he's probably jovial and fun and cares about women's feelings. But no, you just judge, you take me at face value of my jokes. That's not nice. Well, that's how you're presenting yourself. No, 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 no. Afterwards, I, I'll give her a nice hug and hello. How are you? I, I'm, I'm cordial. The moment these cameras cut, I'm gonna be like, I hope you has a good time. If you need anything, let us know. Do you need another water? But right now I'm brash and you need to pick up on it. <laughs> brash. Yes. The way you I, speak sometimes, I'm like, he must, how long, how big is your, ready? Whoa, 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 whoa. Tell me whoa, to stop. Whoa. Tell me stop. You could have, well, oh. uh, yeah, you went <laughs> too fast. Stop. Nice. Hard. Yeah, no. <laughs> you like that? Hmm? Interesting. I've I've had. You have. I have once. How was it? I didn't know he was in me, <gasps> and I cool. accidentally. Guys, let's cut to I've a clip. never. <laughs> sure. I've never said that online. Uh, um, okay, I, I will say though. Yeah, where the live go? show, <laughs> the live show that you guys were on together, you were saying some crazy shit. Me? Yeah. I remember, I remember being like, ah, this dude's crazy. <laughs> crazy. I understand. Like in a, in a, God, I, I hope he never speaks to me again. Type like you're of insane. <laughs> Do you have anything that comes to mind? Like specifics? I don't know. I feel like you were being really inappropriate. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's Franny. That's Franny. So, yeah. so um, I apologize. I think there's different tastes. It just, it, it just made like my skin crawl off of me. Of course, of course, because um, <laughs> you hate fun. Uh, <laughs> but besides that, I'm sure you're great. Like I'm sure if we were sitting there reading the dictionary together, we'd have a great time. Yeah, But for when it sure. comes to fun, um, no. Thank you for that feedback. <laughs> I um, I was trying to entertain the masses. It was a show. Right, um, yeah, no, for sure. Maybe next time, you know, I'll, I'll dull it down a little bit. So um, David maybe can she, maybe she'll pick show. Maybe she'll pick you next she time. She won't, she won't because okay. she doesn't understand what she wants or else she'd already have a man, right? <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> it just keeps Damn. coming this way. <clears throat> what were we speaking? Oh, the tiny penis. I actually want to get into oh, this. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it only happened once. Who? I'm not gonna say his name. Okay, then draw a picture. Mm, it just, yeah, it, I didn't know. It was the first time and I should have kind of assumed, not that all short guys, not that it matches the height, you yeah. know. Wait, is it who I'm thinking of? Oh my God, no. <laughs> David Alvarez. Oh, okay. <laughs> that ended up, that I don't know, that's a different situation. That was gotcha. like a, just a one-off weird thing, but then it was fine. Oh, okay, okay, got it, got it. Okay, keep going, sorry. Anyways. Um, <laughs> that's girl talk for, we'll tell you later. <laughs> we'll tell you off. Yeah. 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 Um, um, yeah. I just did it. He like, you know, was there multiple interactions with this penis? No, just that one time. It was but it I, because of that one time that you 
But did you like the personality? I'm trying to, yeah, he, yeah. He was, he was fun. We had gone on a couple dates, hung out. And then the time that we finally hooked up, I'm trying to figure out word for word what it was that I said. But oh. I felt, oh, but I felt God. so bad till this day. Oh, there's eight dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> I felt about, I don't remember if I said, I don't remember if I said, um, are you in? I don't, oh. I don't No, It couldn't have been that. Oh, I, that I, it was, it hadn't been nicer than that. I don't remember what I said. It wasn't good. I That's don't know. I said something. Said I know I said something along. It wasn't that it was something along those lines, but looking back, I'm like, Oh my God. Well, how did he react to that? He just kept going. Did he strike you as a man who knew, or was he a little nervous when the belt was getting unbuckled of like, I have to show her. <laughs> no, he was, he definitely was nervous. Of course. Um, but so he showed no sign of confidence. No, he was confident. He was a dancer. I feel like dancers just naturally are confident. And you, we you, are boiling down you... who it is. <laughs> <laughs> Go to her well, Instagram kids. <laughs> well, before, before Coldstone and my, my, I'm a dancer. Like that was, I retired like three, four years ago, but that's like, my, that was my life. And, uh, he was, a dancer. I feel like dancers just like naturally know what to do with their body. So usually they're great in bed always. I've never had a dancer that wasn't great in bed because you just kind of know. And how many dancers have you been with in bed again? <clears throat> Anyways. Um, <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> but yeah, I don't remember what I said. An eight count at least. And but he finished. Oh. Did. So. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we were not asking about that. No, 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 but he came. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, so. Did you I finish? Fully caught me off guard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he finished. And we're like, okay. No, but he finished a couple times. I promise. Okay. Oh, this. Uh, did you? I feel like I have to ask. Uh, I assume no. No, 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 no. You're more of a you know man of the boat pleasure type of gal. Okay. Um, over to you. Do you have an illness, an ailment, something physical or uh, emotional or uh, really anything medical that is piquing your interest negatively? Can I offer you some advice? When you go to the doctor, you don't know how great they're going to be. You know, there's no like, oh, this Yelp review for a doctor. Oh, wait, now there is. Have you ever heard of ZocDoc? Because recently I've had ailments and I'll go to my local group chat and I'll ask the boys, hey, what, what, what do you think is going on here? And they give me the worst advice because they're not doctors. Instead, I can go down to ZocDoc and search through so many doctors in my area that take my insurance that are peer reviewed to let me know they're actually good at their job. How wonderful is that? That's amazing. It's amazing because you go to the doctor and you have so many questions in your head. Does this guy know what he's talking about? Does he even care about my, my ailments? If you have something medical going on, you should be comfortable talking about it and learning about it from a professional you can trust. And that is the ZocDoc guarantee. So just to clarify, ZocDoc is a free app where you can find amazing doctors and book appointments online. We're talking about booking appointments with thousands of top rated patient reviewed doctors and specialists. And you can filter specifically for doctors who are near you take your insurance, and treat almost any condition you're looking for. Start taking your health seriously and go to ZocDoc.com slash dropouts and download the free app today. That is ZocDoc.com slash dropouts and go get yourself that free, free app to find the best doctor for you. Are you staying up late binging TV shows like all of us, scrolling on your phone, and sometimes you just feel a little sluggish? You could be dehydrated, baby boys and baby girls. I mean dehydrated, but but I drink water. Oh, do you? What if you could double your rehydration simply and easily and it tastes better than just water? Can I interest you in uh, liquid IV? Zach, do you even use it? The pack's open, brother, and half of it's gone. Of course we use it. Not only is it built for athletes like myself, I mean, a man of stature, it is built for the gamer. It is built for the mom that, that works with her kids and family that just needs that extra boost of energy to get through the day. Remember, when you're feeling tired, a lot of times you're just dehydrated. There are three things that I love about Liquid IV. Name them. Okay, I was getting there. Thank you very much. One is the convenient packaging. Okay, so this is the pack that you see all the time, but inside are these convenient little sticks that you're able to take anywhere with you on the go. The second thing I love, obviously, is how great it makes me feel. And the third thing is the flavors. There are so many flavors. Zach had strawberry. My personal favorite is the sugar-free grape. There are dozens of different flavors. We also had strawberry lemonade for a while. That was another personal favorite. Bo, we drank it so fast because we loved it so much. Exactly. One stick of liquid IV and 16 ounces of water doubles your hydration because of the wonderful, wonderful vitamins and minerals and electrolytes. You hear that sound? 
That's electrolytes. You hear that sound? That's hydration. You hear that sound? That's a feral dog. So grab your sugar-free liquid IV hydration multiplier in bulk today nationwide at Costco or get 20% online when you go to liquidiv.com and use code DROPOUTS. Use code DROPOUTS at liquidiv.com. And remember to get it at your local Costco. Get your hydration up, baby. You'll feel better. Do the absolute best thing for your e-commerce business before the absolute tornado of a storm that the holiday season is going to bring for your business. And that is to make it easy with ship. Station. Jared, tell them a little bit about it. ShipStation has made it easier than ever to manage your e-commerce business with their all-in-one dashboard. ShipStation offers effortless integration anywhere you sell online. That's places like Amazon, Etsy, Shopify, eBay, and more. ShipStation also has industry-leading discounted rates from USPS, UPS, DHL, and Global Post. I'm talking discounts up to 84% off USPS. 84%? 84% off USPS and UPS rates. That's I mean, nuts. 130,000 companies have grown their e-commerce business using ShipStation. Sign me up, baby boy. So set up your business for holiday success with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com slash dropouts and start your 60-day free trial. That's ShipStation.com slash dropouts to start your first 60-day free trial. Thank you, ShipStation, for sponsoring the show. Thank you, ShipStation. Thank you, ShipStation. Uh, what is <laughs> if, uh, my favorite animal? We, uh, we already did that one. Yo. Did we? No, we didn't. No, yeah, no, we did. You, you, you asked answer. that and never got answered. We never. Oh, okay. you asked? Yeah, I know. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Which is your favorite animal? Um, I really love birds. Really? A yeah. lot of people we are terrified do, yeah. of we I know. Have birds. Zach, we have a bird book. We have a oh my backyard gosh. bird we book. Do? Yeah. What do you mean? It's, it's like for bird watchers. If you're Aww. like looking out in your backyard, you I can... love them. I mean, we both grew up with birds. So many birds. I love birds. Um, I recently heard a saying about a bird when it came to relationships. Um, usually I, I speak of comedy and you guys are probably ex uh, expecting something crass, but I thought this was very sweet. When you're in a relationship, a lot of times when it starts to go awry is one person will be excited about something and then in the beginning of a relationship, the other person will reciprocate. Say you see a bird and like, oh, look at that bird. And like, you're really excited to see that bird. And the other person, since it's new and loving, like, oh, that is a real cool bird. And they, and they see all the reasons that you like it. And then later on, years down the road or even months, depends on when you guys kind of distance yourselves mentally and emotionally, you'll say, look at that bird. And then they'll kind of give like, oh, yeah. And they're, they're, what I'm trying to say is if you're in a relationship, look at the bird too. Okay. You know, <laughs> make, make sure you care about the little things that they like. Oh. So I like that you like birds. That's really sweet. Of course. What's your favorite bird? Good question. Thank you. Good follow up. Parakeet. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So you got raw dog by <laughs> <laughs> uh, What's the biggest you've ever had? That's a yes. great question. I, I, you know, I, I thought of that recently. Of course you did. Um, <laughs> because <laughs> I was like, I, yeah, I, I did think about that recently only because I remember being very scared. Mm. about it and was that also a one-time thing it was a one-time thing okay so we we have to find a happy medium <laughs> and what how what, what what's a good size of jared was to ask if i was to ask, jared, was to ask why am i the one to ask i'm asking for jared asking for a friend i don't know i think it depends on the girl like, like we're asking some, you some 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 fit some don't gotcha and do you have a gaping hole <laughs> that's what we're asking you can say yes, Zach. You can't ask the guests <laughs> if they have a gaping hole. I'm, I'm talking to her about birds. <laughs> Let's talk about the cage. <laughs> um, no, it's it's nice and it's nice and pretty down there. I would say. That's got to. I really <laughs> heard that here first. <laughs> it's first. I it, really love mine. I know some girls don't appreciate theirs, but I've always really loved mine. Why? I don't know. No, I just do. think it looks nice. Okay, so I've always liked it. Compact? I think it's cute. Yeah, compact. Nice. Gotcha. Neat. Gotcha. Did you have the surgery or you always- What surgery? What? There's a labia thing. Oh, there is. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm up to date. There with is a surgery. The topics. What, girls to make get. it smaller? No. Tighter? Sometimes there's just like extra skin down there. Oh. oh and girls just kind of nip it a got little. Got it. Got it. Ow. Oh my God. I don't even have labia, but I felt it. I, I don't want to know what that- Yeah. Um, that sounds horrible. Like. Uh, favorite fast food restaurant? <laughs> Um, I don't know, Chick-fil-A, In-N-Out? Oh, wow, Chick-fil-A, In-N-Out. Unpopular, I like Jack in the Box. 
That's a crazy answer. Whoa. I love Jack uh, in the Box. But also when my mom was pregnant with me, she was working at Jack in the Box. You cannot say that. stop okay. talking about your box. I'm asking <laughs> Franny about her opinions on things. <laughs> okay. So Chick-fil-A, what's your order there? Um, <laughs> What do I get at Chick-fil-A? Don't you pipe in. <laughs> She's like, I get. <laughs> We're gonna wait, okay? <laughs> oh, I can see this happens commonly in the relationship. And you had the piper down recently. Okay, what? go ahead. It's okay. Stay over there. <laughs> you're okay. I get. It. I don't know. It depends. I like the grilled nuggets. Of course, because you're a health queen. I do like to be healthy. You went through a health body transformation. I was almost thirty pounds heavier at one point. How do you well, know that, David? Probably. <laughs> David um, did text that one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, what, had you always been maybe working out your whole life or how did you get to the 30 pounds heavier and then wanting to be a little skinny queen? <laughs> so all my life I was an athlete. I played basketball for 10 years and ran track for four in high school. I love basketball. So, what? <laughs> I love basketball. Oh, you wow, do? True yeah, I, I play all yeah. the time. She has a boyfriend and you know I don't mix. <laughs> mix what? Can't men what and women just be friends, huh? What don't you mix? What? Semen with other semen. Okay. Gross. I need to talk to you Good. about basketball. Okay. What position did you play? I Seemed was like a uh, shooting guard. Yeah, I was point guard. guard. Oh, a combo guard. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Uh, did you play in college? No. But you were good enough? Yeah, I'd say so. Do you still hoop? hoop? Um, Once in a while. Sometimes I'll go play with the guys. Yeah, the She's boys. really good. She's being modest. She's really good. We should play sometime. Anyway, uh, so, and then you became a skinny queen how? Yeah, so I was an athlete all my life uh, up until I moved to LA. And Los then when Angeles. I yeah. For audio listeners. Los Angeles. So then when I moved here, I just was super stressed. I had a thyroid issue, wasn't eating healthy. I gained like 30 pounds. Gotcha. And then after a couple of years, I finally was like, okay, I need to put my health first. And that's what I did. So I started working out with a trainer and I started just eating a lot healthier. Sorry, she, I was, she piped in. I was not. <laughs> um, I was fully invested. Neza, Neza can say though that I looked when we lived together how different I looked, and it was crazy because you can't. Did you body shame her? No, <laughs> no. Wow. She she didn't even know. Like she didn't even notice. She was like, "Franny, I don't even remember <clears throat> you looking like that." It's crazy because we look back at photos all the time. We do it all the time just to look back at our time in that house. But look, looking at the, obviously the difference now. You just. Back then, I always thought I was like, that was normal to me. That was healthy. That was like normal for any to me. And then to see the difference now, I wouldn't have known, you know, like. Yeah. I mean, also, I mean, trigger warning, but I did have a a pretty bad like binge eating disorder. Oh, okay. So I, uh, yeah. So that did not, not help triggered. at all. <laughs> for anyone listening. Yeah. Uh, no, we're not recording. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. We're just hanging. We're, we're, just, just, hang out. <laughs> we're just hanging out. Actually. Don't worry, we don't cut him very much. It'll just be an animated version of you <laughs> up until this point. Sorry about that. He has one job and he ruined it. <laughs> um, okay, so did do you feel like after working out, your mental health took a like a like spike of positivity? Yeah, for sure. And you were in a dark place. Kind of. I think I was just really upset with myself and not taking care of myself. So when I was when I was actually trying to take care of myself, I did feel a lot better. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna come back to you. What the? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! How do you feel about your body? I I love my body. Actually? <laughs> yeah, I do. You gonna stand by that answer? I I mean, everyone has their. Okay, name four things you hate about your body. This is positive. Trust me. How is it positive? You're right. It's not. It tricked you. That's manipulation. Here's here's what I got to say. I just like, I like to say that I do because I feel like it'll trick my brain into there believing that I do. Um, but also I feel like I grew up in a household where like my parents were like my hype men, hype people at all times. So like they were always being, you know, they were always like picking me up like, oh, you're so pretty. Da, da, da. So I, I grew up in a household where they were consistently telling me how great I was. And so mm. that's helped a lot so into they didn't me being let, an adult. They didn't let you buy a mirror. <laughs> that is so rude. <laughs> I'm asking a question, okay? Dude, he's real upset about he is. He's the upset. I know he's upset about the yeah. blind dating mm -hmm. video. It's okay. Um, I project, yeah, I'm letting it out. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like for the most part, I'm pretty positive when it comes to um, self love. I feel like if if I just say it enough, it'll you know eventually just stick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
I, we play this fun game called fun. My Body and My Mind. So we like to say one positive thing about ourselves. Um, this is my favorite thing about my, my body. This is my favorite thing about me emotionally. And it's, I feel like it's a very positive thing. Alyssa, let's start with you who hasn't spoken once in this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite thing about your body? Go ahead. I'm going to put on some chapstick. I don't, I don't want to start first. Okay. <laughs> but we pay you, so you have to. <laughs> um... Can your like can it is your body like your eyes? Um, that is part of your eye. Yeah. yeah. Good job. Okay, my eyes. <laughs> okay, nice. and now your mind. What, my mind. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Just like emotionally and gent, like it doesn't the type of person you are, anything. Um, <clears throat> I would hope and try to make people feel comfortable. See, okay, we got to oh, cut out the I would hope. You just got to be like I make people comfortable. Yeah. And you do. Thank you. Okay, now you got to say it yourself. I <laughs> therapy session. Yeah, this is kind of beautiful. Um, Thank you. I make people feel comfortable. You stuttered. You <laughs> got to get it out with confidence, dude. I imagine him being a dad, a ther- or oh, I thought you were gonna say therapist, because that's your kid. Terrifying. Your kid's gonna be like, Dad, can I? Do it? You're like, say it again. Yeah. Say it better. Say it again. And they'll start crying. That's him when I like eat food. And okay. Like, if I don't eat Please, food, he's like, there just we go. Do it. Don't eat food. Not if she eats too much food. <laughs> Sometimes she'll eat like 200 calories in a day, and I'll go, we're going to have to consume some stuff, huh? Uh, because we're on a workout plan together, and you have to get 1,500 calories. And we tracked her one day, and it was 300. <laughs> so, what are we going to do? Yum, yum. Yes. Uh, Jared, Look. my turn. Correct. Uh, my body, I- I thought you were saying in no. general, you just get my body. <laughs> my everything. Obviously. Fucking perfect. Uh, I like that uh, I'm taller than people expect uh, when they mm-hmm. meet me. So like not the tallest, but taller than people expect. That's always nice. That's a great compliment. And then my <laughs> mind, uh, I am a relentlessly positive person. So- That's why I, he needs I you on this that. podcast. Yeah, I do. we balance each other yeah. out pretty well. Yeah, we do. Well, oh. you won't let me. <laughs> <laughs> Your parents are showing. Uh, okay, over to you, um, Franny. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna get to her for real. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Hold on. Can I think for two seconds? <laughs> I don't um, know. I don't know either. I would say Franny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know my eyes. Cop out. She already took that. <laughs> you do have nice eyes. You're allowed to say it. I. I you feel have nice like, teeth. Oh, thank you. Okay, that's good. Okay. I'm not, wait, so no, you can't say that though. I already said it. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I like my eyes a lot actually because I feel like it makes it makes me look super ethnically diverse. I feel like a lot of people don't mm. know what my ethnicity is, okay. and I feel like my eyes are very unique. Can I guess? Looking. Go for it. She's already, already said it. Kenyan. I already said it. What'd you say? Kenyan. Kenyan. <laughs> yeah. I, I already Nailed said. it. Wait, what did you say? <laughs> oh, you didn't hear me? You said like Irish or something? Wait, actually guess then if you didn't hear it. Oh, I actually didn't hear it. Okay. Um, what? Wow. What? So he's not even paying attention he to how we're saying. To a one, one, yeah, listener. one thing. What do we, what do you think we both are? We had a whole conversation about it. Me, shocking you, you don't remember. Uh, we're both the same half. Can I be? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> uh, if I had to guess, I say Colombian. Okay, he was. Listening. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. What about the other? Half. What's the other one? White. No. Irish. No. What is it, dude? You said white and then Irish. <laughs> yeah, that's so extra you, white. Yeah, you went white and whiter. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. Puerto Rican. Same thing. No. Oh, I just did that for the comments. You're like, <laughs> brother, that's not okay. Um, Puerto Rican, great. I went to Puerto Rico. You did recently? Oh, well, I googled images of it. Oh. Yeah. It's beautiful. Uh, yes, it was. Uh, <laughs> Nessa. Yeah. Oh, can the I call game. you Vanessa? Sure. Does anybody ever do that? What about Van? Absolutely <gasps> no to the Does van. Does somebody do that? Absolutely no to oh, the Van. Oh, an ex did that, didn't they? No, I don't think anyone's ever called me Van. They've said Vani. No, that's too close Isn't to Franny. Your, and you're your, already <laughs> impending on her, like, <laughs> now, do your, Wait, do your, don't your parents call you, like, oh no, they just say Vanessa. My, sis, my mom says Vanessa. Oh, with Vanessa. a B. With a B. Vanessa. Vanessa. I actually got it on a bracelet as a joke once with a B. And then how many times did you look at it and go, ha ha ha. 
Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! This is funny. What was the game? What was the question? Um, are you black or white? What was it? Oh, you're. A th- oh, we know you have to no, guess what her other half guess is. Guess what my other half is. I thought the game was a positive thing about <laughs> yourself. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, you're Colombian and uh, Dominican. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's so whatever. Whoa. That's because great. because I knew you knew Spanish. Yes. Um, but I uh, yeah I didn't know you ever had Colombian until recently. Yeah. Okay. Um, anyway, uh, you have to say something emotional you like about oh, yourself. Oh, yeah. Um, I like how nurturing and caring I am towards other people. There's the mom. Some things we can Very. learn, huh, Neza? Oh, what? <laughs> Some things we can take from our friends and use, <laughs> utilize them in our personality. Um, what was the question? Oh, body. Yeah, what's something you like about yourself? Um, I, I would say I really like my, my skin in the sense of... M- one of like the main compliments I get from anybody is how soft I have really soft skin. And I take pride in that of it being very soft. Why are you pointing? Why are you pointing? I was hoping you'd come over here. He wants to touch so I you. Do this. He wants to touch you. And I'll be the judge. Here we go. Oh God. Oh no. Okay. I'm going to close my eyes to see if I know it's her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Smooth. Anyway, Smooth. Yeah. I've yeah. literally had like strangers brush up against Ooh. my arm and be like, what lotion do you use? No joke. That's a true story. Is it uh, men or women? Is this in a club setting? Because they just don't have a good first line. <laughs> <laughs> no, women mainly. Anyways, mainly. that's what I like. I like my skin. Okay, and now over to emotional. Oh, emotionally. Um, I would say that I tend to put people down before <laughs> <laughs> down. I I tend to put people before me, which is like a blessing and a curse because. It makes you a good friend, but then also you like- But you like that about yourself? Yeah, because it makes me a good friend. I haven't noticed that in our friendship so far. Uh, which is <laughs> All 48 hours of us being <laughs> acquaintances. Besties. Strange that you would phrase it like that. Interesting. We've hung out just Once for, for 45 minutes. Yeah, we're very transactional, this relationship. We are. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to change that or no, just keep dude. it the way it is? <laughs> Let's keep riding you live so close to me. I, it was, I was shocked. Well, don't show up. <laughs> <laughs> How did the video do that? We recently did a video, yeah. what was it called? Uh, Should we date? Oh wait, were you guys compatible? Yep. <laughs> oh, I, so I need to watch that. Two different uh, answers yeah. here. What video did you film? I don't remember. It was the worst <laughs> compatibility test I've ever done with anyone. And I've done so many really? over the years, yes. I think we got like nine. Out of or what? Out of like 20. <laughs> You know yeah. us. You couldn't even get a 50%. No. I was trying. No, on, she was like, be true to yourself. But it was like little stuff like, would you rather go to In-N-Out Burger or like Chick-fil-A? We got that one right. Exactly. What was it? Chick-fil-A? In-N-Out. Oh, yeah. In-N-Out. Really? Yeah, it was kind of weird. And then she's like, I wouldn't mind you getting in and out And I was like, gross. And then she's like, I want a little bit of that spread. I was like, what the f- are you talking about? And then I left. That's how we only got to nine because we got nine correct and then I left. <laughs> <laughs> um, are we doing this game? Yeah, but you didn't go. What? You didn't give your what's your oh, yeah. body what love about yourself? I like my athleticism. That's not your Don't body. That's your not head. your body. <laughs> what? That is encompassing of all my body. Okay, a specific feature. Ah. Oh. Oh. oh wait, ready? My stop. Knees. Tell me when to stop. Not my penis, <laughs> <laughs> because I was the one that was in here with a micro penis. Um, I'm so scared to get my penis out ever in front of you. <laughs> Because of how you will scoff at it. I <laughs> would not. I don't scoff. I accept all sizes, shapes, <laughs> colors, all of it. Diseases? Oof. <laughs> um, uh, I like my, well, I do say this. This is not a joke. I like my knees. Why? I have a very aesthetically pleasing knees. We can't see them right now. These are very tight and I can't pull them up. Just believe me. And uh, pleasing knees. A personality trait. Um, uh, very, I would say very hardworking. Okay. All right. Uh, All right. Here we go. Okay. Oh, I'll, I'll so take the uh, one yeah. that handsome ate. What do you mean? <gasps> <laughs> he didn't know. Yeah. He's. He didn't know an answer. He has an attractive, uh, an attraction he's a psychopath. towards <laughs> flat things. We don't know what it is. What did he hit that against? Yeah. What did teeth. he hit no, it against? He chewed, oh, he on, chewed it. on that? Yeah. yeah Franny, yeah, yeah. you just thought this dog picked us. It was going <laughs> like this. <laughs> Oh, no. I hate what 2014 you, YouTube videos. He's just so mad. Oh my God, for a second I didn't know it was the dog. Oh, she thought Handsome was a person. I didn't hear Handsome. Oh. I thought it was like a guest that came and got mad and smacked it. That's funnier. That would, yeah, that would be a that way, way better, better story. The fact that he did that. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. And he's got a real foot fetish too. So imagine what he could do to your little uh, steppers. <laughs> to your tootsies? <laughs> your tootsies? Your tuts? <laughs> 
Um, Alyssa, why don't you announce the game because you have a voice. Okay, so this game is the compatibility test. Yay! So we're going to... It's very similar to yours, so we're gonna Love play it, it again. Um, oh, maybe but then not. we're also promoting your soul. Hopefully, people go over there and watch. Oh, um, so I'm just gonna ask you questions, and then they have multiple choice answers, and then you're gonna choose whatever one you prefer. And then, are you gonna be able to, like, hey, Zach and Jared got this one right together, or, or Zach? And yeah, Frank? I can. Okay. Uh, you're making her do extra work. Oh, she works here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what we pay her to do. <laughs> oh, this is a job. <laughs> She's not here just hanging out. <laughs> oh, I keep. For, I gotta bring it up after. Remind me. Remind, just say ex girlfriend. Remind. Oh, yours? No, 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 this. The, I know. I, yeah. Throw it to the side. It's all good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for bringing it up. <laughs> okay. So the first question is we're going to watch a movie franchise. Okay. Which movie are we going to watch? Are we going to watch Harry Potter, Star Wars, or Jurassic Park? Jurassic, Jurassic, <laughs> Jurassic Park. Jurassic. It's just it's, yeah, it's Jurassic. A little, a little... How many dinosaurs are in here? She goes. What? Did I not say it right? Okay, I'm ready. All right, three, two, one. Uh, Jared, say yours. Oh, Harry Potter. Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. Star Wars. <laughs> I've never watched Star Wars. Seems why you didn't pick it. <laughs> that makes sense. I was vice president of the Harry Potter club in high school. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. You're <a> fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> are you a Huffle? What did it? Grinf Gryffindor. Ah, of course you are. Of course. Wanna be? I, I took the <laughs> test as well. What right. is? What would you do in this Harry Potter club? It really was an excuse to um, nominate one of our friends for homecoming court. Oh, okay. But you know, field Quidditch. <laughs> field Quidditch. You ran around you guys carrying a that? broom between your legs. We went into the broom, but it's it's like basically just ultimate frisbee. Like handball on a field? Yeah. It's like handball for no, virgins. Like, what? <laughs> what? It's like, okay, forget it. <laughs> forget it. She, she was like, I'm going to tiptoe to the other side. <laughs> but she stayed. Okay. We're planning a trip. Where are we going? Are we going to the mountains or are we going somewhere tropical? Like the beach? Or oh, like just two? Yeah. Just okay. Two. Oh, man, this is hard. Depends on the season, but yeah. Mm. Wait, guys, hold on. I don't know. It's okay. It's only two things you got to pick through. <laughs> I need like context. Okay, so tropical <laughs> is like a beach and then <laughs> mountains <laughs> warm. Pretty self explanatory. Okay, forget it. It's like rocks, but bigger. Got it. All right. She got it. All right, Jared, flip yours. Three, two, one. Mountains. Tropical. 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 Okay, so I'm on the other side of so, this. So, so far, you two ladies have two together, and then we both have one with the ladies and zero with each other. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That makes sense. Yep. The, this is ad. Oh. <laughs> um, out of these three Disney movies, which one is your favorite? Aladdin, Mulan, Little Mermaid. Oh. oh. Easy. Got it. Okay, uh, Jared, just for the audio listeners, we'd be like, Jared says... <laughs> Jared says Aladdin. Okay. Am I supposed to announce my name? <laughs> yeah, you, you'll do your own name. Nez, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Neza is saying Little Mermaid. Ooh. Franny is saying Little Mermaid. I, know, I already know Zach's answer. Zach is saying Mulan. Interesting. <laughs> Let's get down to business. You, you sing that what? all the time. You actually are a pretty good singer from the little bits that to I To defeat. Oh. He's the that, that gave him the, yeah, it gave him that go. liquid courage to, to keep, keep going. going. Liquid. You, you, what, you what can't liquid stroke his ego <laughs> or else you'll just go off the rails. You can't stroke my little ego. Where is, I asked this in a thing, but have you guys ever dated guys that say no cap unironically? He asked me this. No. No cap? No. Like they'll just be like, no cap. And then do you want to throw is, up a little? What does no cap mean? There we go. Like no that's cap, a no. woman. No cap. Like no. no like not lying. Like I know not like, lying. oh, okay. Cause like cap is like. Is like oh like, like yeah. pay your cap in right, but no cap oh. is like you just use the same word. The <laughs> no, 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 no cap. It's no, the no, same but, thing. Oh, it's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like twelve thousand years old. It feels like, and that's okay. Okay. Do you read books? Sometimes <gasps> she does. I do. Oh my gosh, what is the series that you're currently on? The Akatar series, the what? A Court of Thorn and Roses series. I'm on the last book. Oh, nice. Is that the red cover with like the dragon on it? The first one's red. Out of these, which is your favorite holiday? Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving. Let's get down. To I feel like we'll all get this one right. Mm. Well, yeah, of course. Okay. All right. Jared says Christmas. Nessa says Christmas. Rainy says Christmas. Xmas. Did you fuck it up? Zach, you can't be the one to fuck it Did, up. If you said Halloween, I'll, I will throw your board. <laughs> <laughs> 
Christmas, ladies! Yay. Look at us. Let's all spend Christmas together this year. Compatible. Okay, fun. Yeah. Have you guys ever spent Christmas alone? I have. Uh, oh my gosh. No, wait, nobody to bring it down. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up. Like uh, this. I woke up on Christmas morning last or two years ago alone. Oh. oh. <laughs> Sorry. So, so Did sad. you go to sleep with someone there? No. <laughs> oh, okay. It just seemed like someone lightly left in the night. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, this was the year we were with your family, and then everyone left, and I was home alone. <laughs> so someone did leave. When we were, which Christmas? At Two my place? Two years ago. No, at my place. Remember when your parents came for Christmas Eve? And then your parents, oh, your parents went back home. Yeah, Got yeah. it. Yeah. Sorry. No worries. That's <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. If we had another question, what would it be? <laughs> <laughs> You're planning a day date. Where are we going? Disneyland? Oh my gosh. Mini golfing? Uh, oh my gosh. Or a hike? Oh. <laughs> Easy. All right, guys, come on. We got this. Easy like Neza when she was in dance. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Jared, Jared says mini golf. Neza says Disneyland. Franny says Disneyland. Let's get down to Disney. Disney. Disneyland. That's I an expensive sucks. date, though. I Neza, just we have gotten every single one right so far. Because that's why we're Frezza. I took a girl on a second date to Disneyland, and then after that, we never saw each other again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, let's talk about it. Please, it hurts me. You should wait, ask him about why? where that hat's from, too. Ooh. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Did anything happen? No, 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 no. That, I like, just, um, I don't think. Or don't did think... you, or did you call it off? Was it just a coincidence? I called it off. Oh. Yeah. No, yeah, didn't. Zach called it off. <laughs> totally. I called it off. Okay, wait, but what <laughs> happened? I want to know. Um, I think she was just looking for someone who was better in every way. Okay. And I, I couldn't that. provide that. Interesting. So. What about you guys? Was when was you, uh, your guys' last breakups? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking at me? Mine was last November. How'd it go? Oh, a year. About to be a year. It okay. was good. Mutual, I, uh, healthy. I, I know nothing about your guys' dating You know lives. my ex. Who? Crawford. <laughs> <laughs> the DJ? <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's up, dude? <laughs> I like him. Yeah. So I never had like I, yeah. a conversation with him, but we, we're dap up boys. Like we see each other at a party. Yeah. Like, what's up, dude? And then I, we hit him with a what's up, dude? Yeah. And then we Walk away. don't speak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but we him. know each other. Yeah. Oh, sick. So sick you guys guy. are, you broke up with him. Why? Uh, there's a video about it. I don't want to watch it. What was the reason? <laughs> just differences in. Um, oh, political opinions. Like, <laughs> no, just like, you know, my career isn't like. Important. The, the easiest for a guy to deal with. So okay, this doesn't have to be um, that guy specific. But why is it hard to deal with? Well, because I I intend to go into acting and things, and also porn. No, <laughs> sorry, what you just like acting. You said acting and things. Like music videos. You know, I would love to. Ask oh my other gosh! People. Wait, wait, wait! What music video were you recently in? <laughs> The Laney music video? Interesting. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where um, did we go? I don't even know where we were. So why is acting? Why well, is you know, I feel like that that industry can get, it's, it's really intimate sometimes, you know, on screen stuff. And mm. so it's not something that I can just like force all everyone that I'm with to like be okay with. And gotcha. if they feel, if they need to step away than that, then I, I don't, there's no hard feelings. Like I don't, mm. you know what I mean? It's out of my control. Are you able to, do you find yourself, if you're in one of those scenarios, mm -hmm. like getting a little emotionally invested because you are kissing I ha someone? I haven't yet. Gotcha. I haven't kissed anyone in anything yet. Oh, okay. Um, but I have gotten like pretty close and intimate in, in jo on jobs and stuff. And Hand, hand or blow? <sighs> <laughs> I cannot. Anyways, yeah, we'll see, you know. Okay, next one. Huh? <laughs> so Halloween's coming up. What is the Halloween candy that we are gravitating towards? Kit Kats, Snickers, M&Ms, or Skittles? Dude, oh. what about the one I want? Well, I nasty. know which one you want, and it's nasty. You're nasty. <laughs> that too easy. Your attitude's nasty. <laughs> hey, what do you like? Like the Three Musketeers? No, just oh, wait. I, okay, just wait. Sorry. Oh, wait. I'm changing my And mind. I'm so sad. Sorry. Um, so sorry, 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 sorry. M&Ms. Jared says M&Ms. Naza says Kit Kats. Okay. Franny says Snickers. Can I tell him? No, shut the fuck up. Okay, what? Uh, what's your answer? Zach says M and M's. Yeah, exactly. Why? Connected. But I would go peanut M and M's. But I would also go obviously the Reese's, which 
are pumpkin shaped. I think those are delicious. In I every love way. Reese's. Oh, yeah. I would kill for a Reese's right now. Um, okay, to give you the speed run, Jared uses a <laughs> No follow-ups? Uh, <laughs> Alyssa, thanks for the alley-oop there. Um, <laughs> okay, um, so speaking of movies, okay. um, we're going to see a movie together. Which genre are we going to watch? Drama, action, or horror? Where the hell's comedy in there? <laughs> I knew that would have been too easy. Okay. I don't like the way that you looked at me. <laughs> I don't like the way you looked at me and scoffed. <laughs> that was a scoff. It, you, you were staring directly. I wasn't expecting to look over there and you were just staring. I was seeing if your skin was really nice. It was not. Um, uh, Jared. Drama. Jared says wow. drama. What is wrong with you? Neza <laughs> says drama. What is wrong with you? Freddy says horror. I said drama too. But um, <laughs> uh, that's cool. You like being scared in the night. Have you seen Talk to Me? No. Oh, really? You would like it. Yeah, you would. If you like horror I like movies. watching horror movies with like a significant other or, you know, like going mm. on a date. It's just more fun. I got you, but we're busy. True. You should go <laughs> and watch it yourself. By myself? Yeah. No, I won't do that by myself. No, no, oh, take no, your boy no, toy. No. What was his name again? <laughs> Let's cut to My a boy <laughs> toy. <laughs> cut to a clip. Okay. You have the aux. What type of music are you playing? Ooh. Hip hop, rap, like hip hop slash rap, pop or country? Damn. Depends on the day, but <sighs> right now this has kind of been- yeah. This my is, car. This is the. Yeah, of course. Is that a real gumball machine? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are they, so I, I are they like a, old? I, do I have stale? To put a, no, yeah. they're pretty new. Do I have to put a quarter in it? Uh, or you they just free? grab it out the top. When we had Kean on here, he put eight in his mouth at one time, unprovoked. Yeah. That sounds like eight. Him. Yeah. That sounds. He like, was juiced up, like as, as he said. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jared All right. says country. Neza says pop. Franny says pop. Daddy says country. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should all just, maybe we should just bang, dude. <laughs> I want to be inside you. Okay, the big reveal. Drum roll, please. For the most compatible? Let's start with the least compatible. You and Zach. I mean, <laughs> Jared and you. Okay, I knew Dang. we weren't gay, but now it's official. <laughs> I, was on, I was on the fence about it. That's what this whole game was she for. Wore cute. It was like, yeah, secretly that. Most compatible, Franny and Nessa. Well, Who would have thought? Yeah, Fresa. I think the only question you guys didn't have the same answer on was the movie genre. And the candy. And the oh, candy. Oh, and the candy. Yeah. I forgot about the candy. I'm not a Snickers girl. Yeah, Jared is. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Oh, yeah. wow. Snickers satisfies. Uh, and then who is the who's second, compatible? second most compatible? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, mm. Probably. Who knows? Probably Jared and one of the girls, but whenever the girls got it right, Jared, like they both okay. got it right. So Jared I feel have... like us three. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. great. Yeah. And like you did it. I'm a lone wolf, baby. Yeah, yeah. You did it I'm really. isolated. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Mm. You feel sad? On camera, sad. All right, guys, thank you for having these two wonderful ladies on the podcast. You can find them at Franny underscore. underscore. Oh my God. Wow. Underscore what? Arietta. <laughs> yes, sir. Can never say that in my life. <laughs> and then we've got, is it Baby Neza? It is Baby Neza. What's up with that? <laughs> I don't know. Because she's a baby. I'm just a baby. She's I'm just a baby. A baby. Mm, cheer for somebody who would love you. Okay. <laughs> um, so we're about to head over to the Patreon where we're going to play a very dicey game where they're going to reveal their boyfriend's names. And it is going to be, yeah, I know. It's going to be a little crazy, but we're going to play, also play this game called Password. So head over to the Patreon in the description. And remember, we're also doing a giveaway where we're giving away a bunch of fun prizes like an Xbox, a Nintendo Switch, a, uh, what else should we give away? Gift cards. Gift cards. AirPods. We'll give away AirPods. Why not? Anything else we should give away? It's good. I don't an know. IPhone. Maybe a merch. Comment below what you want us to give away. <laughs> we'll give we'll give away some merch too. So head over to the Patreon. You have to sign up right now. And if you don't, I will punch your mother. Okay. Thank you guys so much. Also, subscribe. I forget. We should say that more. Yeah. This we, is the first time we we've really ever should. said it. Yeah. Anything else we should say? Uh, always turn say on, subscribe. Turn on notifications. No, that's crazy. What? You should you <laughs> should let much. you should let them know that most people that watch your videos are not subscribed which is crazy. I don't want to let them know that. No, because I don't they'll, let them they'll down. click. I don't want to make them feel bad. Um, <laughs> comment down below which one of these ladies you think is the most emotionally aware and uh, of themselves. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. God, this, okay, bye. That was great. <laughs> we got to do that thing at the top. Okay. I'm going to do one thing at the I was about to remind you. God, what a woman. I know. We can just do that for the ad reads.